Luke, uh, a 5 1 win today. Um, you, you expect you're pretty, very happy. Yeah, listen, I felt first half. You can't start the game in the manner in which we did. We give them an opportunity. You see they lifted. Then we react with Gus's worldie. Um, and I felt it was, it was two teams flirting with it. I don't think there was much effective football being played. Weren't really hurting in behind. I don't think we, we organised ourselves on the press. Um, and it took a, a half time to regroup. And I felt second half, we were excellent. I felt that we understood our roles, our jobs. Um, went a lot one side and I have to say some of the goals today Kane Smith's goal today was brilliant lovely little play in, in and around the box and he goes and curls one in the bottom corner so yep yeah, very happy happy for Cavs for getting a hat-trick um, long time coming for him for us but yeah yeah happy very happy is it annoying on any level that this performance didn't come a lot earlier for you or are you just pleased that you've, you've seen it today now, of course, listen, if it comes eight games ago and we can have an upward trajectory in terms of getting some results on the board and some time to actually nestle in or get into the playoffs, that's gone. I spoke about it. It's all about momentum. It's all about finishing this season on and up with wins on the board to ensure that we go into next year with a positive mindset. The team that started today, there's, there's nine of them signed, which is amazing. That shows that what we can do, we can compete as a minimum in the National League. Um, and it's my job to look at things. You you can look, ask the question, I looked at Mark Ricketts at right side centre half. Yeah, he played there for Woken, know what he's got. Felt he looked comfortable in there. We will potentially look at a different shape moving forward um, because I've got the, the opportunity and I've been afforded the luxury to do so. And that's something that we need to have. And having our armory to an extent if we need to change change it either chasing a game or seeing out a game so we've got five games left that's not me taking my foot off the gas we prepared as we would would do we had a weekend off in terms of no game we prepared as a group and we got our fruits of our labor this afternoon and you got a chance to see uh, young jalla out there as well how did he do for you hey, listen it's his debut he's gone up in a position that he doesn't play i wanted to try and get him in a position was damage limitations for him and for us um, and he done okay, he held his own. He, he's a lad that needs to pin people down, needs space to run in behind. He's got blistering pace, can go off both feet. And yeah, he, he's one that we've got in the, in the youth programme at the minute that we got a little bit on. In, in, in fairness, we feel that there's two or three that's coming out of the academy that I believe can have a say towards the back end of this season and, and going into next season. So it's his debut. We applauded him in the dressing room, give him a well done, but he goes to work again on Thursday, hopefully gets even more minutes against Halifax on Saturday. We saw a weldy from Mafuta. Unfortunately for him, he picked up an injury. Is he okay? Um, slight niggle on the hamstring. Obviously we got slightly longer because it's a Monday as opposed to a Tuesday evening. He'll be in with the med medical team. Um, Big miss, you see what he does, he's a presence. I think that's his fifth or sixth goal this season. That's something that he's never done in his career. So I know that we spoke about it when I initially signed him that we wanted him to go and get goals. And to get a goals in the position that he's playing in terms of five or six this year is a good return. He probably could have had two or three more. Um, so yeah, we'll see how he is. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he's on the bus to Halifax on Saturday because he's a big part of what we're doing. And just finally, you said in uh, another interview that you're sort of 80% done with the, uh, the players that you have ready for next season. You just want to get four or five players of real quality in. Um, what areas of the pitch are you looking for and, and um, have you already identified some targets? Yeah, well, I identified a few. Got to be honest, I've had good conversations with the chairman and Charlie um, with regards to the targets. We've got eight or ten that we feel that would add to this group. Um, yeah, it's, it's a slow burner. We haven't got a rush. We've got 10 of that squad signed on for next year, which I think that bodes well for us in terms of where we are. And I know the chairman used the tagline, it's his job from the offset to not get relegated out of the National League. I think what we've got in the building shows that we can compete and we'll be competitive. It's recruitment is massive. And if we get that right, then yeah, we may be a force again. We need to ensure that we've got good legs, good energy, Good age as well is something that we're looking at. We want good ages. Why? Because we are slightly older, um, the Mark Ricketts, Kieran Murtis and Tom Champs of this world, but we need good legs, good energy, and we need people to buy in what we're doing. And as long as they do that, hopefully we'll have a, a good side come the start of next year.